Hello everyone, this is Cyrus here, about to do some UU Live with my best friend's team. It's pretty much based off of a couple of my friends' favorite Pokemon, and somehow I got to fit the working. So, the first one is Alialth the Absol. Pretty nice Mega, Iron Tail Knockout, Sucker Punch, and Play Rough. Pretty offensive. I thought it would be probably the best Mega to pick along this team, even though my team is very water weak. But this thing hits like a truck, so it really makes things go around. The second one on my team is Archimedes. Hopefully I said the name right. Um, with Fire Blast, Close Combat, Grass Knot, Earthquake, checks the Quagsire, hits almost anything hard in the UU tier. It's a pretty, pretty prominent Pokemon. Um, next is Charizard. I was heavily debating on going between uh, Stealth Rock Roar for the max defense set. That usually wins me a couple of games or so, but knowing Chark, he's a lot more on the offensive side, so I went with the uh, Dread Plate through Triple Stab, Dark. Should be pretty good. Then I got Lord Pichu Pal here. Stupid Skype. Um, Choice Specs Lightning Rod. Of course, lots of great things. I definitely needed something like this to keep momentum. Granted, there's a lot of better electric Pokemon in the tier. You know, Heliolus, more or less, but I think Raichu could bring some color to this team. And besides, people won't see it coming. Granted, they know what to expect from it, but who cares? Next, I have, which is the Pokemon that's going to be my lead 99% of the time, is Kai the Golem. You know, Custap, Stealth Rock, pretty much going to hit whatever is out there hard than... If I feel like I can explode, it's, I'm going to explode. I actually run this one with speed for reasons that if I somehow outspeed their lead on the start when you Stealth Rock, I'm probably going to go for attack next. Or somehow if I'm dropped to my sturdy, then I'm just going to boom. Simple as that. Then, last but not least, I have PG-13, <laughs> which is the Tentacruel, uh, Knockoff, Spike, Skull, Rapid Span. It's a pretty good utility. I couldn't find one more Pokemon last, and since I'm pretty heavy water weak, I felt like the last one should at least be some kind of water resistant Pokemon. So, I mean, out of all the ones that's pretty much after friends, this is like the only one that isn't. So, I guess this one's bonus for me. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get a f match or two just for fun because I want my first upload on YouTube to be uh, a lot of my friends' favorite Pokemon, despite good or bad. One of them was actually Starmie, but you know. UU tier, star me, not gonna work. So, I finally get my first UU match right here whenever it decides to load. And, wow, see, we both have Simming for Fun teams. Um, either way, Golem seems like a pretty good lead, but I'm definitely scared of that Espeon over there. So, instead of going for the obvious, I think. Actually, Charizard puts in a lot of work here. Um, could go Absol. There's nothing Absol really fears. Uh, who should I do? Huh, this is complaining really hard. Um, I'm gonna go right into Kai since that's a really good Pokemon to lead off with. He goes with Jellicent. Um, I could out the quick, but. Sadly, I kind of don't want to waste Kyle early off in the battle, so I'm going to go ahead and switch to PG-13. Taking the obvious Will-O-Wiz, Confuse Ray, whatever the thing you want to go for. Um, sadly, he does get the Confuse Ray off, and honestly, I need to get Toxic Spikes up. But before that, I have a hunch he's going to switch into uh, Espeon here. Predicting my Toxic Spikes, and sadly, I hit myself with that. Wait. He burnt himself. Um, not exactly sure what to go here, so I'm going straight into Charizard, predicting the Psychic. Hopefully I predict right, otherwise I'm taking a really huge risk. And I predict right, so... And he forfeits instantly. Hmm. Well, see how well friends help out in this battle. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get in the second one, because that obviously didn't count. If y'all haven't noticed, I am low up on the ladder right now, because... I mostly play UU matches, but I felt like doing some non try hard matches for my first uploads. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a second battle. Hopefully, he isn't as uh, 
pushy or as scrubby as that match, but okay now here is a threatening match. Okay. I'm sorry if I lose anyone in the process of, the, of this battle, but this is a legitimate threatening team. Hmm. Either way, I feel like I almost feel like I have to go Kai as a lead. Ah, crap, Chrysalia. Um, at the most, I'm gonna get up Stealth Rock. Oh, it's gonna trick. Wow, it actually gave me an item, Choice Scarf, and surprisingly my speed is actually not bad. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to Alley out here, because it can definitely take anything this thing wanna go for. Okay, I'm okay with that. Um, should I predict it to go into something else? Actually, no one wants to take a knockoff from, yeah, not no one wants to take a knockoff from Mega. Absolutely, so I'm gonna go straight into knockoff. If you want to stay in, he's dead. Oh my god, max defense? Yes, he is max defense. So, this is not good at all. Hmm. What if I should pivot into chart? What do I have? What do I have to take this thing? You know what? I have no choice but to go to knockoff again. I really don't know what to do here. Yeah, sorry, Alia. There was like no way I can get past that. Um, on the flip side, though, this thing is relatively slow, and pretty much anything I go into can kill. Uh, best bet is to go into Raichu. It's choice specs. I can full switch. If you switch, that's fine. He's gonna die on an incoming anyway when he comes back in, so that's pretty much okay with me. So. Get the vault switch off. It does kill the Cresselia from the 9%. Um, wow, choice specs Kai and sturdy at that. Mm, what do I feel like I can go to? Um, I could go to PG 13 just to force the switch for Azelf. Um, actually, let's go into Kai. Not that anything's wrong with this, but. If he happens to go into the obvious aggron, which he does end up doing, I outspeed this thing into now, and Earthquake is going to deal a crap ton to it, so I'm just going to keep it in and go for Earthquake. Technically, I could switch out to um, Zard, but. and get the uh, attack drop on the possible heavy press, but. he's going to switch, predicting my obvious Earthquake. And he knows I'm scared, so I have to switch for sure. So I'm going to go straight into Charizard, just because I can't take anything this thing wants to do. And if this thing has Grass Knot, this is going to hurt. Oh, okay, no, I'm actually okay with that. He's back at neutral. So this is a physical as though, so I'm going straight for the Pursuit. If he switch, he's done. So he's definitely Pursuit locked. I'm not sure if he knows that, but he's definitely Pursuit locked. Okay, so he does know. He does end up going for the U-turn. Okay. So... For sure, I outspeed this as elf, which is not exactly a normal thing. That thing's usually really fast, but I definitely know I don't outspeed this, so my best bet is going out into PG-13. It's the best play to make, period. Is all his Pokemon power up punch? I would hate if this thing had Earthquake. Um, For sure, we're going to go for Toxic Spikes, because that Blissey is not going to help. Oh my god, okay. Never mind that. Hmm. Lord Pichu Pal is definitely the best play. Um, if he goes out into Chansey, I'm absolutely fine with that, but this Infernape needs to get out of here. For sure. I have nothing to take. Yeah, Infernape kind of sweeps my team if I don't get rid of it fast, so. If he goes into Blissey, I'm going straight into either Chark or. No, I can't go into Chark. I'll probably go into Infernape just to scare him out. I'm hoping he stays in and let Monkey Man dies. Wonder, hmm. Why? I just realized, like, everything on his team so far. Okay, yeah, he does stay in, taking the Thunderbolt, and he does go down. And this is Specs Thunderbolt right away, so 
I, then again, an infrared imp is like a glass cannon in some cases, so it was probably going to die anyway. So he goes ahead and brings back out the Agron, which is, again, another Pokemon I really can't touch. Mm. Po ah, I'm really Earthquake weak. Um, I'm trying to think, what is my best play here? I could stay and go for the Thunderbolt get damage on this thing. But... It's not like it can really switch anyway, so I'm sadly going to have to go for the Thunderbolt. Risking this. Oh, he actually did expect me to switch. I'm actually okay with that, so we're just going to knock the Agron out with the Thunderbolt. Thank goodness I did not switch. Okay, so that thing is weakened up. Question is, what should my next plan be? Um, actually, I'm going to go right into Kai. Just predicting the Thunder Wave. Okay, so it does end up going into Toxic. And I set the Thunder Wave for if I went to Infernape. Because I thought about it, but stupid move is stupid move. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and go for the Rock Blast. If he goes into the Azelf, it dies. Um, if he goes back out into Agron, I'm fine with that. But uh, this thing is taking hits. Hmm. I legitimately have to get three hits to knock this thing out. Um, actually, it's probably gonna go for uh, the soft boil, so I'm gonna make a hard switch into Infernape, predicting that. That way, I definitely, indefinitely scare him out. And he actually decides to go out into Agron. I'm more than okay with that. So, I'm not even gonna risk it. I'm going straight for. What should I go for? I'm going for the Earthquake. Yeah, because this thing is going to die no matter what. It's Life Orb Infernape. So, that actually gets the job done. Now, the worst part is this. If I'm... This thing went for U-Turn last time, and I outsped it with Pursuit. I'm just confused. Like, do I... Does Pursuit have priority? I don't even remember. I don't think so. It doesn't make sense. I know it has priority with Switch, but I don't think it activates during U-Turn either. So, I'm going to go ahead and make the safe play and just... I wonder if Grass Knight kills. Grass Knight won't kill, so I will go for Fire Blast. Okay, so that does end up killing, so I did outspeed him. Why is that a slow as elf? That is interesting. So, I learned something interesting about Pursuit and about... Well, I guess slow as elves, nonetheless. Um, he's gonna bring in <laughs> chocolate. Um, my best bet is going for fire blast, no matter what. So, and I miss. If he belly drums, I lose. Okay, well that's kind of just as bad. Um, wow, this is kind of worrisome. What to do? Guess I have to risk the Fire Blast again, hopefully knocking it out, and I do get the knockout. Because if Infernape dies, I... No, actually, I got this either way. So, I'm going to go ahead and click Close Combat. This game's over. I was actually kind of worried. I can't believe I'm winning with the team that I never normally want would win with, honestly. So I guess friends do help, after all. Not to no offense to anyone, of course. But I'm going to go ahead and get one more battle with the fringe UU team. This has actually turned out pretty well. Grant the first battle was pretty much little to nothing and my god his team was threatening. Huh. I feel like either Absol or Mamoswine is the obvious lead here. Ah, uh, question is how should I go about this? I could go for Absol predicting the no no not Absol but Tentacruel predicting that lead. Because, if any, I just want to get damage on and force him to Earthquake, so that way rocks is completely avoided. I really don't like rocks. Um, I'm going to leave with Kai, just because I know it's safe. Okay, that's fine. Um, sadly, I don't like Infernape, so I'm going straight for Earthquake. That is absolutely fine, because I do have Sturdy. So, this should knock out Infernape. And in case that was Stealth Rock Lee Infernape, that 
actually does everything and more for me. And he brings this out. Um, unfortunately for him, I do carry Custap Explosion. I probably won't get rocks off this battle, but uh, I wonder if I should go to get Stealth Rock up instead. No, this is Mega for sure, so yeah, sadly we're going to have to go for the Explosion. In case he do decide, and yes, I get the knockout on Absol. This is great. Kai took out two Pokemon already. This is turning out to look really, really good. Um, what should I go into? Oh my god. Um, I guess if any, Infernape counters like most of the things there. Uh, let's go ahead and go into. Let's go into Lord Pichu. Sadly, this does the least amount of work, except when this Milotic decided to switch in. Should I predict it to switch into Mamoswine so I can Focus Blast, or should I just go for the safe Thunderbolt, hoping for the best? Granted, Milotic can't knock me out, but the worst it can do is Scald, so I think I'm going to risk the Focus Blast. And I miss anyways. It has Miracle. Okay, so people, we know exactly what we're doing. We're switching here. Yeah, we're going straight into that skull. You can burn me all you want. Like, I am super scared of anything he has to offer. So I'm going for a knockoff, expecting to switch. And he does switch into Salamence. So in case he's Scarf, he just lost it. Actually, he lost the Lumberry. That's... I'm okay with that. Should I go for... You know what? I need at least one layer of Toxic Spikes. Because I know I can live one Earthquake from Salamence. So I'm going to go ahead and go for that. Granted, it does raise the defense of Melodic for his Marvel scale, but Heliolisk and everything else can't switch in. Yet, he decides to quit. Wow. So, I guess I will end it right here for now. Just to see how friends can make people just rage this hard. So... I want to thank you guys for watching, showing your support, especially all the friends I use in this video. Uh, Alioth, Archimedes, Chark, uh, Lord Pichu Pao, Kai, and yeah, y'all guys take care and enjoy.